Hey guys, well, I'm back at the boat, and you know I'm on this 1975 Islander. It's way past due time to have a new toilet installed. This might be the original one. It's not in good shape at all. It doesn't function. I think it's even got a crack in it. So I went to Raritan Engineering. They're the leader in marine sanitation. I just went to their website, found what I wanted. Uh, you can pick up the phone, call and order it, or your marine store can get it for you, or your uh, boat yard. And they've got all the accessories that go with it. You know, the flex hose with odor shield and crush resistant. And there's a number of other products that they have there too. Ice makers and, you know, just look at the site. You'll see there's a lot of things that they have. But anyway, I got the compact toilet in with the uh, compact base and the, sanitate, the new sanitation hose. That's going to be my project for the day. And then the hose, they also have the hosing for you. And this is real nice too. It's um, uh, the Santa Flex hose. It's nice and flexible. Look at that. Uh, it's reinforced. It's got odor uh, uh, resistance to it. It's um, uh, collapse resistant. I think it's 100 uh, PSI. Well, let's take a look now at what came in the box. Look at this biodegradable package. You gotta love it. Okay, the toilet itself. Oh, that's a nice bowl. Look at that. Flush, dry. Okay. This um, clean pot. Oh, biodegradable uh, drain cleaner. Give you a sample of that. Here's a box with our parts. Let's see. Handle. Put the toilet seat lid on. And that's it. It's all you need. Well, as you can see, this is what I've got, and it's in it's in pretty bad shape all over the place. The toilet came out easier than I thought. You know, all I really needed was a box wrench, a flat screwdriver, some WD-40, and the um, uh, vice grips to get the screw the bolt out that was uh, rusted. Now I just need to clean this up, of course pull the old hoses out. Well, I've got it cleaned up. As you can see it's going to fit perfectly where it was. Uh, one of the holes will actually line up. This one that was rusted out, I'll probably epoxy that, but it's in, out of the way so I can go ahead and really finish the install today. And I just need to put two new ones right here. Should be no problem. Even the holes for the uh, drain pipe and the water feed are in a good location. Now when I get ready to drill my holes, you see I got a little platform here, uh, but you see how that angles up over here on the left? Well I want to make sure my bolts are, aren't too long. I mean I've got some room there, but you don't want to put too long a screw in and wind up uh, drilling through your hull. Well this was a fairly easy project. It went in very nicely. You see everything fits. Man this looks good. Now you may notice there's a black hose, the intake hose. I originally had a clear plastic hose on that because that's what the boat came with. But when uh, Eddie, uh, the service manager here at the Sailing Emporium came by, he said, no, 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 you got to have a structural hose. This is collapse resistant. It's got uh, wire all the way through it so that um, it's reinforced and it's double clamped. All um, through hulls below the water line should be double clamped and you see one's going to the right and one's going to the left so make sure you use the proper hose on this and the uh, Santa Flex hose that I ran for the drain that worked really nice that was easy to work with well this not only looks good but there's no odor I can't wait to get back in the water test this system out